this is chapter 19, example 1. Uh, what we have here is a problem that uh, makes a couple, bunch of choices in here, uh, which means, of course, we're going to need a bunch of muxes. It also does something with parity, so we're going to need a parity generator or a parity checker. Now, so the issue in this problem is, first thing we need to do is establish the interface, which is the black box diagrams. Uh, this has 12-bit input and we'll call it a i guess and it has 12-bit output we'll call it result and it has a button now the button is part of making the choice here so there's our interface and uh, if it's wrong we'll add to it later so this problem makes a couple choices and so what we want to do is figure out what kind of circuitry is is in this thing so let's it does make a choice what is going to be output based on the button so i can fill that in right there what we can say here is this is the final output you can see that button right here is, is deciding what's going to be output on this so what is it choosing between if a button is pressed, the circuit outputs minus A. So this is this first line here. So we need to have a way to, to get a minus A. And that's going to be a two's complement box. And if the button press, it, it outputs that two's complement of A. So let's get some, some bus bars in here and make it more readable. So if the button is not pressed, it outputs one of two things, which is again another mux. And so we will put that mux in there and we'll look at those two things that it's outputting. And one is a complemented A and the other is just A. So we can put that in here. Complement, this is complementing all the bits. So once again, this is these are all 12 bits also. I haven't really worry about these numbers yet on this one, but something is controlling this mux. This mux is, what is it control fast? Odd parity, it outputs complemented A. So there's A, put it that way, and we'll put a an odd parity checker here. And so that's gonna be looking at A also, kicking out one bit, which chooses uh, whether it's gonna be a bar or a on this circuit here so this could have been done a couple different ways i could have made this an even parity checker and changed the ones and zeros on this and at this point i am going to call this circuit almost done what we have to do is state what controls this circuit if you look at the circuit there's a mux there and a mux there these are the control inputs of the muxes the controls are connected to two different things so this has both internal here's your internal control and external now the external control is coming from the button which is essentially external to the circuit and i am done with this circuit